1993, with Tim Gullickson firmly entrenched as coach, Pete would post good results. He found himself number one in the world going into Wimbledon, where, in spite of the fact that he had been groomed to dominate there, the grass courts had given him problems. He had a tendency to take too big a backswing at the ball and on grass with the ball coming through so quickly. You know, once he shortened that up, he started returning much better. On the 4th of July, he would meet Jim Courier, who was at the top of his game. He was expected to win the match, and he hadn't won a major since the U.S. Open in 90. And Pete had been out into the semis the year before and was now finding his grass court game, but this was the tournament that he was built to win. So there were a lot of nerves for him. He said he, he couldn't eat before the match. He was so nervous. I had nothing to lose. He had everything to lose, I think, in his mind. I woke up nervous. I woke up at 6 in the morning. Couldn't get the match out of my head. I wanted that 2 o'clock start, like now. And so, you know, that was a difference between 93 and 92. I knew, what, I knew what, what was going on here and what it meant, and that nobody really does remember who comes in second. It was, for me, the highest level that I was capable of playing on the grass. And I, I, mean, I had no shot at breaking the serve. And I snuck the third set out somehow. And in the fourth set, he got up a break. And it was like rewinding to the Lendl match in the US Open a few years earlier, where he didn't care about breaking serve again, because he had the break. And he knew he was going to hold through. I think he was nervous. I think he was tired. I think he was on the verge of cramping. Because he was so nervous, he was spending energy that he shouldn't have spent. A shot! But it didn't matter. Yeah, still match point. From that moment in 1993, Pete's confidence on the grass soared and he would become the class of Wimbledon, winning the tournament a record seven times. He wanted to own Wimbledon, and he really did. It's all over. Game set and Mark Sampras. There were just some years where uh, you, you felt going in that people are playing for second place. It's like, how can you have strawberries without cream? You know, guy wins seven Wimbledons in eight years, and he just did it so routinely. Then he's done it. He was technically and tactically ruthless. You know, he was just like, whatever I got today is going to be good enough. It would be four all in the tiebreaker, and he wouldn't have made a backhand return all day. And then boom, backhand down the line return that nobody on the planet could have gotten. And he serves two aces, and the tiebreaker's over. And the guy would be completely disheveled. He'd win the second set 6-1. You know, he just kept doing this match after match after match. Usually it was after clay court season where he hadn't played well, and you didn't you think, okay, he's not gonna play well, and just, boom, just turn it on, I'm gonna come, it's grass, you know, give me the check, see you later.